Architectures. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can create uh, interesting colourful gradient effects using the camera raw filter. And of course you could go over here just use this standard gradient tool but if you go to, and this is in 14.2, if you go to the filter camera raw filter, I'm using a fairly small document because this is for a tutorial. The video actually makes it quite slow. It's not the quickest of filters in the first place. Now I've got a blank document and you of course could start with a normal sort of image but this just gonna go over here graduated filter select that there's a whole range of different controls now if you've got the exposure set to 1.7 that's not very good obviously for the first time because you want it to be darker it's just obviously light just set it to uh, a minus value and now just apply the graduation and straight away you can see the graduate you move it around you can rotate it just to go there you can apply one or multiple I have no idea if there's a limit to how many graduations you can apply I've never actually gone as far as it says and it says no you can't add any more so you can actually change it around you can also change the color that's applied so I'm just going to go for, say for the green so you can actually add a nice sort of green apple like effect there modify the exposure again you make it lighter Again, you can rotate it, and of course, the original one is still there. So, if you actually want to, you can actually modify the original one. You can move it around, don't have to keep it in the same place, just drag that across, and you can exposure and maybe change the color again. Maybe go for a pink effect this time. So, take tweak that around. Okay, once you've actually got a uh, colour that you, you know, you're fairly happy with, you can actually now click OK. Of course, you can tweak more. You can actually, of course, go to the actual general sort of settings and actually just modify the whole image. But I'm not going to do that in this. So click OK. That quickly applies the effect. And there you have the... Now, of course, at this point you can stop, but you can also go back, of course, and apply the camera raw filter again. But what I'm going to do that before that, I'm actually going to rotate... The image because I'm actually just going to just quickly apply the camera raw filter again without changing any of the settings. I could, of course, go back in and change them, but I'm just going to go camera raw filter and reapply that again. Now I can go to the edit fade camera raw filter, and of course, we've actually got quite a nice, interesting image just there. But you can actually now modify this, you can just go darken, difference, overlay etc lighten multiply and so on and so on click OK and there you have it you've basically got interesting gradient effects just using the camera raw filter and of course you've got all the other additional color settings that you can use as I say if you just go back to the filter again camera raw filter you can actually don't have to even use the graduation graduated filter option so you can actually just modify the actual color tweak the color temperature and change it that way. Again, change exposure. Okay, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.